Historical or not, that's up to Cincinnati's Planning Commission to decide now. Voting Friday if the Schulte Mansion in West Price Hill really fits the bill. The more than 100 year old building is slated to be demolished, making way for a new Boys and Girls Club Center. And reporter Mariel Carbone explains how the neighborhood's community council is trying to stop that from happening. Well, the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club says that this property is the perfect location for its teen center. It is just across the street from its Glenway location, making transportation between the two spaces simple for families that may have children and also teens. But some neighbors say that the building is just too important to lose. We've laughed here. We've cried here and our time with it isn't done. Which is why the West Price Hill Community Council is fighting to save this building. This building is part of the fabric of the community. Laura Hamilton is past president of the Community Council, which is asking the city to designate the old Schulte Mansion as a local historic landmark, preventing it from being torn down. Once a private residence, it then turned into a radial funeral home. It is the last 19th century uh, grand structure left along this corridor. More importantly, it's a landmark. It's visible for blocks. The city planning department doesn't agree. In a report to the planning commission, two city planners wrote the property is not significant and has lost all its architectural integrity. They do not recommend approving the designation. I never expected to get in a situation where anybody was upset. That Bill Bresser is CEO attention. of the Boys and Girls and, Clubs of you know, Greater Cincinnati. The organization is currently under contract to purchase the property. The plan would be to demolish the building. The building as it is would be really expensive to renovate. It's, it is in a state of considerable disrepair. If purchased, the space would be used to build a workforce development center for teens. We'd have classroom space and we would want to convene uh, businesses, uh, universities, trade schools, uh, high schools of course, to truly usher kids into lives of self-sufficiency. We're interested in the services. We'd like to find a solution that works for everyone. And if the building is deemed historical, Besser says he won't move forward with the purchase and the organization will look for somewhere else to build the teen center. Now the planning commission will make its recommendation on Friday and then city council will take this up for a final vote. Reporting in West Price Hill, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.